Writing a screenplay is hard, super hard, and it's essential to have a software that takes care of the formatting so you can focus on the story. In this video, I will show you on how to use Celtics. Let's go. Okay, so first off, you don't really have to download uh, Celtics because it's web-based, so it's great if you're movie switching between computers. Uh, so you have like a login, but you can download Celtics for mobile devices. That's for another tutorial. Uh, so you will basically just log in or create a login. So I have logged in um, and I can just create a new project. So I will click create. And you'll show here film TV, multicom stage play. I'll just pick film TV and I can choose a name. Uh, my script. And you can, you can even upload uh, a file from your device, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to create a project. This is how it looks like. And when you get, get into your project and you can go up here and you can change the title to whatever script. I Maria based on and then you can add contact information here and then you go down here you're inside actually where you're gonna write again and it's easy to just go by the different headings you can head over here you can change to act scene heading action character dialogue parenthetical transition shot text so but also by just writing interior exterior like interior interior house night and then you hitting enter, you go down here. And you can even see down here uh, the instructions. You get some kind of help here, like describe what the audience sees, your setting, the characters present, what's happening, keep it short. Typical three or four sentences, which is great tips. So I'm just gonna write something dark, wood floor, quiet, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just gonna go there. So if I want to go to the character, I'm just gonna hit tab, you see character name, Maria, tab. Write some dialogue for your character today. Anyone there? Question mark. And then you can have another character. So if I want to have like a parenthetical, if I need to change that. Um, whisper. So it's really easy to use move between the different headings. You can also see here, over here, like the different short commands. So character will be command three. Let's see, command three. Command one is another uh, slug line. So it's very easy, straightforward. And I use a Mac, so maybe if you're on a PC, you will have different short commands. You can also say here, tab to switch. So it's easy to move between this very fast. Then if you want like have to have like a goal for your writing, you can go down here, hit that, and you can change what you want to have. I want to write the 300 word count. Uh, or I can have, and then you can set the deadline to Maybe I want to do it by December 1st. So today, from if I'm going to make it for 300 words, I have to write 12 words today. I think I can make it. <laughs> and then you can see, so see over here, it's like writing 1 minute 49, <laughs> thinking 2 minutes and 14 seconds. So you know, you will know how much you're thinking. Yes, so that's a great tool to make you move forward. And then if you want to have night mode, you can go to view and hit night mode. So you will, it will get darker. Might be nicer for eyes, might not be. You don't know. So let's go back to the light. If you want to add scene numbers, you go to view, scene numbers, and then right now it's on none. So you can do like right, left, right, both. Let's do right. So you will have on the 
know how many scenes you have. So it's great if you're gonna have get feedback and you need someone to say like, oh, on scene number 10, you could do this, which is great. So if you wanna do comments, you're gonna double click and then you can get this little bubble here. Hit that and then like, maybe change the name, add. And if you want to look at your comments, you can click on over here and you can reply, resolve. You can change the color for it. Uh, if you like have different people add comments, you can actually make the different colors. Or if like it's w about one character, you can have one like um, different colors. So you know, like all the comments about the character Maria, you can change it. Um, you know, like if you want to look at those later, it might be easier to have different colors, but let's so now you see you get the pink one for now. And then you can also go up here, view, comments, comments feed, and you would have, if I add another one, I can also click the plus here and like, story doesn't move forward, add conflict. And I had it over there because I think that's where my marker was. So now I have different ones and if I want to make a change with that one, maybe I want to have another color, it would be blue now. So that's a great tool to keep track of your comments and if you need to improve your story, which is super helpful. And if you go over here to the sidebar, you can see they have like the widgets, storyboard, catalog, casting crew, budget, schedule, files and media. Because one thing with Celtics is that they have like, if you're in pre-production and you need to have all of those other stuff, you can have that, but that's not for this tutorial. I just want to mention that they have it. But if you go over to Bidget, you can have, they have li really like uh, different ideas. It's like the setup, the confrontation, the resolution. Um, so they give like you instructions, uh, which is great. And you can create a new one like like that. And maybe you you want to write Act One. Then maybe you will add another one like uh, Maria gets lost in the woods. You can also change the color. So maybe I want everything with Maria to be pink. You have like this little pink over there. If you go over here again, you can do a line and I can make decide which one it should be on if you need to connect it somehow. And then like if I do, let's say I do a uh, Maria finds her way back. Now I actually should have it on the, over here. Yes, and then maybe I will have it over here. I will do the color again for Maria. And then have maybe on the act three and I could do a line and I can move it there. So maybe I want to have the line to connect all the things that's with the bits with Maria. So this is like a great tool if you want to like work on your story to actually find like new ideas and if you're just starting out like what the story is really about if you want to like to work with a bit. And you have like different settings you can go over here. I'm not gonna go through all of it because you can you can always change something but I mean the program comes with great features just by default so you don't really have to. But if there's something you would not like to change, you can always go to format or edit here. You can, you can do spell checking and then change something. If you had one word and you want to change it to another, it's very straightforward. It's easy to use, to navigate, because I think everything I show now is like pretty much all you need for actually writing, right? Let's look at the cost. So it costs like 59 US dollar per month 
24, that's for the team, Rider Pro, Rider. And then you can see all the things they have here for the different ones. But you can have like one project uh, for, and then you have to move it, which is kind of bad. So I think if you would use Celtex, I think you would end up paying. So this is like compared to Final Draft, where you actually buy the whole program. Or you can do this like paying per month. It all depends on like how much money you have and what you think is worth it or not. That's the basic in Celtics. And if you would like to learn Final Draft, which is another great screenwriting software, please watch this video. Thank you for being here. Please add a comment below. Hit that like button and I'll see you soon.